Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to show those of you that coach first Lego League Robotics and you have teams and you need to narrow it down. You have so many students that are interested, but you can't take them all. I'm going to show you how I get all of these students to try out and to figure out who makes the team. Stay with me to see what this is. So let me go ahead and just set the stage for you here and to kind of show you where my situation is. I think I'm in a good situation, but um, just the, the situation kind of lends itself to having to put a tryout system on this so that way a lot of people can be involved, but I also don't drive myself crazy. So here's my situation. I have two returning teams from last year. So... I feel really good about them. They're, I'm super confident in their ability. So those two teams are coming back. So I already have two teams. I've done four teams before and it was just super crazy. Um, I basically, to make a long story short, promised myself I would never have four teams again. It was just a lot to manage and by the end of the season I was just cooked and done. So I thought this year, hey, I can do three. You know, the two returning teams from last year, I can kind of just give them the ball and let them run with it. And then I can kind of, you know, manage and oversee this new team. So what I basically did is uh, my first step in this tryout process is I, I told all of my robotics classes, I have five robotics classes. I said, get in the teams of three, four, or five. Now, those of you that coach teams of 10, my hat goes off to you. I don't know how you do that. I mean, I know you can establish leadership within that team, but that's really hard. So my main kind of, you know, sweet spot is three, four, five. So I told all of my students, I said, you know, within that same class, see if you can find one, two, three other people and decide to become a tryout team. So they know in advance that, they're going to try out. Nothing has been set in stone. They're going to have to beat all, all the other tryout teams to take that third spot. So what I'm going to now do is show you the process that all of these tryout teams are going to have to do to become that one team that becomes the official FLL team. So let's go. So I think I have a really good problem here. I have so many students that are interested in First Lego League. And, you know, I would be a little disappointed if, you know, there was two names up here. So it's good to see that there's all of this interest. I used to coach basketball and we used to have like intramurals to decide who would be on the team just to get everybody involved, just so that, you know, you're not just picking, you know, I like this person and this person. You're giving these people a chance to see what it would be like to actually compete to actually know what it's like and, you know, just to get experience. So that way they, you know, they can't just go, well, you know, I never get a, got a chance to see what being on a team is like. I never got a chance to actually see what students in first Lego league actually kind of experience. So these are all the teams I told you about that kind of got together and said, yeah, we want to be a tryout team. So now what I'm going to do is once we've assembled all these tryout teams, I'm going to give them now their goal, their mission, their objective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reveal video. On the same day, I'm going to give all of these teams a video. And they're basically going to have to go through what is going to be their task. And whatever team basically stands out, has the most points, in my mind did the best job, will win that third spot for my FLL team. So since first Lego league um, competition has three parts, the robot game, core values, and the project, I thought, hey, why not make that a part of the tryout process or their task? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you now what their three parts are gonna look like for their tryouts. Now, I'm only going to give them 10 days to do this, so I need to make sure I don't make this super overwhelming. 
but in the same time, make it so that they do prove that they, you know, can be that third team. So there's going to be a lot involved. There's going to be some team, I mean, a lot of teamwork that they're going to have to put together to, you know, become this third team. So I'm going to take you now through the robot game, core value, and project part of this tryout system. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. Okay, the robot game portion of the tryouts. Each team has one job. Let me move this here, but I will talk about this in a second. I've drawn this black line here. Their robot must, part of their robot must be um, to the left of this starting line here. And the team has one job for their robot to put as many of these wiffle balls into this yellow container. They may only put one wiffle ball in at a time. Their robot must return to home base here. Some part of their robot must come behind this line and then they may send it out again. Um, and how they put the wiffle ball into the container is completely up to them. But like I said, the robot must leave the base and it must return here before they can load their robot up with another wiffle ball. So they will get 10 points. I mean, it really doesn't matter on the points. I mean, we can say one point or 10 points. Collectively, um, they're just trying to get as many points as any other team. So this one's a pretty cut and dry first, second, third, fourth, unless there's a tie and we can always do a redo on this one. But um, they're just trying to get as many of those into the yellow container as they can. Okay, so for their core values part, I'm going to have each tryout member draw part of their picture that they're going to make a collective creature where each team member draws a part where they feel they fit in. So let's say there's three team members. They're going to come up with what I call a creature combo where their creature is going to maybe have the head of an elephant maybe wings of like a bird and maybe like claws of a hawk and then each team member in their picture draws each part of this picture and then they'll basically each person will tell why that part of the creature is you know part of their personality so let's say that somebody is like super intense they might have like a lion's head and they can say I, I'm I'm the lion's head because you know I'm so intense I'm fierce and they would write that out as part of their project so let me go ahead and take you over to my cabinet where I have pictures of this so this is the lonky it is half monkey half lion so a team member might say yeah I'm the head because you know I got sharp jagged teeth or you know I run really fast and then the monkey part might be, you know, somebody likes to swing from trees or they're, you know, uh, a gymnast or acrobat type person. So each team member will take a part of the picture of drawing it and they'll also tell about why they chose that animal to be part of the entire team's creature. Let's look at another one. Okay, so this next one's the Conchita. So this one's half condor, half cheetah. So, you know, each team member would say, you know, I'm the cheetah part because, you know, I'm really fast. Somebody might be the condor part because, you know, they've always wanted to fly or they, you know, I'm light and airy. Um, so anything that gives me an insight into their team, they'll draw that part and they'll just explain why, you know, they chose that animal or creature to be symbolic of them. Okay, here we have the Bobath, half giraffe, half uh, bobcat here. So somebody can say, yeah, I'm the giraffe part because I'm super tall. And the other person might say, I'm the, you know, cheetah part because I'm fast. Um, I'm spotty. You know, something that is just interesting and it, it gives me a little information about them. So each person takes a part. And I know some of these only have two, but... I'm just kind of taking this from a different assignment where there were only two team members, but you know, if a team has five, their creature will make up 
five parts of this animal and each person takes a part. So Jimmy might be the, the head, Susie might be the legs, somebody might be the body, somebody might be the wings. So their creature will encompass um, each team member and what part of the team member they're contributing. So on the tryout part of the creature combo, artistic ability is not going to be part of this. I mean, you know, those of you, those that, that teach know, you know, effort, and I tried as best I could. So I'm definitely not going to judge on artistic ability. I'm just going to judge on all the team members collectively adding to the creature. Definitely, I'm going to look at why they chose what they chose, you know, written out. I chose to be the lion, lion's head because of this, so I'm going to read that part. And then I'll also bring in the uh, current team members and maybe have them go through it and they can give me their opinion on whose is better. So this one is totally, you know, subjective as far as, you know, there's, it's not like the robot game where we can say, hey, this team won by this amount. This one's definitely going to be opinionated and I feel this team won because of this. This team came in second. So it's just going to be a collective um, creature combo. You know, did everybody have a part in the drawing? Did everybody tell why they're, you know, this part and that part? and then take it from there. Okay, so now let's lastly go to the core values section. Okay, everybody, the core values part. Now you're gonna see a lot of core values when the teams do their robot game, but this one's gonna be one of those surprise, hey, this is your task and you have five minutes, 10 minutes, however you wanna give them to figure out. But this is gonna be the lava challenge. So this blue line is gonna represent the side that all the team members are gonna be on. There's another blue piece of tape over there. Everything within the blue tape is lava. The team may not step foot in the lava. I'm gonna give each team, if a team has four members, they're gonna only get three of these lids. And basically what they're gonna to have to do is, if you can step on this lid, then you, do not get burned up by the lava. So their job is going to be to make it from this side to the other side safely using only one less amount of lids than their team has. So again, five members will only get four lids. And their job is basically to get across. And yeah, I'm going to be timing them to see how fast they can do this. Um, but I'm also going to be looking at teamwork I'm going to also be looking at communication. How well do they talk to each other? And so like the um, project, they're going to, this one's going to be very um, opinionated. Um, I'm going to see how time is definitely going to be factored into their score. Um, but definitely teamwork and communication are going to be involved also in their final score on this core values part. Okay, everybody. So that's my tryout system. And... Definitely, you're going to have to adjust this to your schedule, adjust it to your time and effort. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, as we go through this tryout process, I'll definitely document this on video. So you get a chance to not only see from this video what the plan is, but you'll also get to see how did it progress and eventually who did take that top spot. So I definitely will take video and show you um, the tryout teams going through this process. And then that'll be fun to kind of at the end show you, you know, what did it take to take that top spot. So this will be exciting, definitely fun. And, um, you know, if you see some things that I can improve on, I definitely want to know. And if you're trying this out and you're like, that's good, that's, that's not so good, then obviously feel free to adjust it to your, you know, best interests. Okay, guys, hopefully you like this video. I am Mr. Hino from Mission Zega Robotics. I'm out.